to my channel. It's video time. So today we're going to do a video that has a conglomerate of things. I'm probably going to entitle it a mall haul because I went to different malls and I got a bunch of different things. So there's some stores that are thrown in there that were not in the mall, but I figured I'd call it a mall hall because I went to King of Prussia Mall, and I went to Cherry Hill Mall, and I went to Montgomeryville Mall. So, yeah, it's just going to be a mall hall. But let me introduce the star first. Miss, I want to be all over the world. It's Cookie Glut. And she has her I Give Free Kisses shirt on. It says I Give Free Kisses in white with little hearts, and then she's got the little lip thing on it on the back. She looks so cute. I think she's comfortable right now because I'm holding her. She's making like her little Yorkie ones. So, there's that. So, pardon, I turned to you off because uh, TV was having issues. So, let's start with the little stuff first because to get that out the way so I don't know if anybody out there in YouTube land has issues with makeup I am not a big makeup person I don't wear makeup a lot so I decided instead of me going to the Mac cosmetics where everybody goes because I've already had ex experiences with them and I feel like the makeup doesn't really look the way it's supposed to look so, I decided to go to Ulta, Ulta Beauty. Now, the Ulta that's closest to me is in Montgomery County. So, I went there, and I got some makeup. The girl Jennifer, shout out to Jennifer, she was really, really helpful and really nice. Because I walked in there and I said, I'm having issues with trying to find makeup for myself. So, one of the people at my job told me about Tarte Makeup, T-A-R-T-E, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. And I went in there specifically going to getting tart stuff, but she was like, I might have something a little better. So, what she did is she sat me in the chair, and anybody that knows an Ulta, it's big, bright, white lights, tables, everything is like pristine clean. So, she did Lancome on this side of my face, and Tarte on this side of my face. Well, Tarte did not win in the end. So, I ended up getting the Lancome foundation and this is called the Tien Idol Ultra Wear in 360 bisque so that is my color so I'll take it out the box so you can see what it looks like Lancome boxes are so shiny and pretty and nice so this is what it looks like they don't give you a lot, but I don't know. I just feel like, look, it's like got the little rose at the top. And the bottle is just all like, it's almost like, I don't know. But whatever. So this actually has sunscreen in it. It's SPF 15, and it says it's up to 24-hour color, wear, and comfort, and it doesn't transfer on your clothes. So if you put it on your face and, like, say you go like this, or you brush up against something or you give somebody a hug, it's not coming off your face, which is really cool. So, this was from Ulta, and Benjamin actually got it for me. So, the cost was $47 with tax. It was $49.82, so it was like $50. So, the one thing Jennifer did give me, along with her little business card, which is so nice. Her name's Jennifer Green. She gave me something called Lancome Advanced Genifique which is a youth activating concentrate that you're supposed to put on before you put your makeup on. So I guess it helps it to, I guess, stay better. So she gave me a sample of that. And then she also gave me some other things that are in the little card that I might want to use, like concealer or um, the powder foundation that comes in the actual, I guess, compact. But I figured I would do the liquid because I don't carry makeup with me, so I feel like if I use the liquid, I put it on and I just leave so I don't have to worry about it, so I don't have to carry things around with me. But, the one thing she did get, which is extremely small, 
she literally gave me a sample of the Tarte foundation she used on me. And Tarte's stuff is called Face Tape. And my shade is 35N. So, even though the Lancome was the better of the two for my face, the Tarte wasn't bad. So, if I wanted to go back and get the Tarte, she gave me a sample. So, thanks, Jen. You're awesome. So, then... We have the regular stuff. So, I went to Rite Aid because this lady at my job, shout out to Miss Cynthia, she's awesome. She told me about CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Foundation because that's what she wears. So, I went to Rite Aid with Benjamin and his daughter, Tahira, and I had them help me pick out a color because I went and got the wrong color first and it was too light. So, I ended up getting M40... Uh, warm nude so this is just a drugstore brand it was like ten dollars um, so this is probably something that I'll just wear like if I just want to put something on if I'm just going out that'll probably be for like if I'm going out somewhere nice so it has like the little pump and you just pump stuff it's really cute and it locks and again this was from Rite Aid it was only ten bucks and then I ended up getting something that my lovely makeup artist Nafisa Watson she does my makeup for all of my events that I go to. And she uses uh, NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil Moisturizer. So, this is in the color Beige Camel. If you can see that. Um, I got the color that I thought was closest to what I would wear. So, this is something that if I didn't want to wear like a heavy foundation or I didn't want to wear some more expensive, nicer foundation, just put this on to kind of like even out my skin tone. And this was like $7 So the next foundation I got was from good old Sephora. They have the cutest bags, don't they? And I wasn't aware that Ulta does not sell Rihanna's Fenty Beauty products. So when I went into Ulta, I had actually told Jennifer that I wanted to get either Fenty Foundation or Tarte Foundation. And she said Ulta does not carry that brand. Which Ulta might need to think about doing that because Rihanna's shit is the shit. So, I had the girl... And her name was Victoria. She was very nice. I had her do a color test on me to figure out what shade I was for Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. So, this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Longwear Foundation. And I am the color 290, which is at the top. I didn't realize this box is backwards because that's the back and not the front. So, hopefully I can open it without any issues. I probably can't because of these nails, which, by the way, they're getting done. And I'll just have to rip the shit because I can't open it. They're getting done on a Saturday. So, this is what Rihanna's Fenty Beauty looks like. It's probably maybe a little bit bigger than the Lancome, and it actually costs less money. This foundation was $35, so with tax it was $37.32, and I think they give you more in this than they give you in the Lancome, but this is my color. I haven't worn either one yet, and when she did this in the store, it literally looked like I had no makeup on, so shout out to Rihanna. I love her anyway, but now she's got makeup, so it makes me love her even more. So that was my Fenty Beauty purchase. So, again, I start small because I don't know what colors I wear. I don't know what foundation I wear, so whatever. So, the next is my second favorite place in the world to buy beauty stuff, Bath & Body Works. They were having a sale, which I told you about a little bit in my Valentine video when I went and got Benjamin his Valentine's Day gifts. So, the day that I went and got those, I actually got more. I got stuff for me. So... Show you guys what I got. So they have new fragrances, like I said before. Um, the first one I got was called Dance in the Rain. Um, it says Dance in the Rain, fresh raindrops. Morning sun showers, dew drops on the grass, and breathing in the fresh air, it's time to dance in the rain. And the keynotes, which is the fragrances that are in the set the uh, lotion, is rain kiss berries, jasmine blossoms, and birch water. So, I like to get the 24-hour moisture body cream 
especially in the winter time because it lasts longer than the lotion and it's not as like wary offy I guess you could say this is oh my god YouTube needs a smell button too this stuff smells so good it don't smell like rain so don't think just because it says rain it smells like rain because it don't recommend this one and the next one I got was called salt water breeze I actually like the bottle like it's kind of rainbowy I guess um, it says a refreshing getaway, like the reflection of sunlight on water, salt water breeze captures the essence of dewy freshness and solar warmth. How nice. This is fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. So, these are probably my two favorite fragrances right now for being the Body Works. I'm not even going to lie. Smells so good. And then, I have the rose fragrance already. But I only have the lotion, so since it was like, buy a bunch, get something free, this was my free one that I got. So I ended up getting the Ultra Shea Body Cream, and this smells just like a whole rose garden, so you'll smell like roses all day. And then, of course, because I got roses, I had to get the candle that goes with the roses, right? So I got the Rose Water and Ivy Candle, which, again has the little three prongs. It smells so good. So this is my second rose candle because I already have one and I like the way it smells. Oh wait, let me let things smell because she's all like, what is that? Oh, she approves. She must like it. Okay. So that's what I got from Anthem Body Works. Um, and again, they were having a sale. So it was like $10 off the three wick candle. The candles are normally like $24.50, so I paid $14.50 for the candle. And then the salt water breeze, it was a uh, buy three, get three free or something like that. So I got the three, and then I got the one free, along with the stuff I got from ben for Benjamin. And that was that Montgomeryville Mall that I got that stuff. Next, we have my namesake. I am the only grown behind person that can wear her name on her underwear. from my Cherry Home All Trip. So I had coupons. And we all love some coupons, right? So I got me some fragrances. I think it's really cool. Victoria's Secret's little fragrances. They actually have like little things on the side. So this one is called Fresh and Clean. And it says Get Fresh With Me on the back in like a little bubble. So it's springtime, fresh laundry, and bright skies, new day, new goals. So this is the scented lotion part perfume and the scented mist so this is from the pink collection so this is on the pink side of the store so not on the Victoria's Secret side and then I got on the Victoria's Secret side the regular Victoria's Secret fragrances spring poppies and I think the bottle is really cute because it's got little pictures of poppies on it and it says poppy days violet leaves petal burst so again smells really good like I have a thing about smellies so and then I got a bra. Um, side note, Benjamin picked these out because I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. She gets so angry and she can't sniff stuff. Peekaboo! Look, she has boobs. No, I'm just kidding. So, Benjamin picked this bra out. It is the super push up. Uh, I wear a 34B. I have no boobs because one day I want to get a boob job. But that might be a whole other video. Hmm. This bra was $34.95. Um, and then I got a free pair of underwear with my little coupons I had. So I got me some boy shorts that say Heartbreaker on the back. And Benjamin picked these out. So, he always says I don't let him pick out shit when we go to Victoria's Secret. So now he can't say shit because he picked out shit. He literally was like, this smells good. And this smells good. So he can't say anything about not picking out shit. So total, I spent $50.57. My discount was $65.74. So Victoria's Secret is bomb when it comes to that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we get to the clothes part. So let's go with good old Primark. Benjamin's favorite game store. But I didn't get a lot of crazy stuff from here. Just basic stuff. Benjamin got these things for me. We went to the Primark in uh, King of Prussia. 
because this was King of Prussia Day. So I got some little basics. Oh, she's got a sniff. I always forget she's got to do the whole sniff test thing. All right, she's done. So I got some sweatpants. I'm not a big sweatpants person, but I got these. They are um, skinny fit joggers. I got the two extra two XS size, which is the two extra small size. They were six dollars and fifty cents, so they fit a zero to a two in USA and a thirty-two to a thirty-four in European sizes. Because everybody knows Primark is actually European and not American, so you kind of have to go by their sizes. Um, and then I got just some like basic T-shirts, and they're pretty stretchy and they're long. Um, again, in the two XS, they were four dollars a piece. So this is a navy blue one. You want to smell that one too? She's hilarious. A gray one. Um, a white one. Because how many people hate the fact when they get a white t-shirt and it gets dirty and then you can't wear it anymore? And a black one. So they were all $4. So I think Benjamin spent like $20-something dollars at Primark. And then I ended up buying his stuff, which was nice. So he bought my clothes and I bought his clothes. And his clothes actually cost more than, cost less than that. Go for it. Then, this was just like a humbug purchase. We were at Franklin Mills, and I literally was like, ooh, Marshalls. Who don't love a good Marshalls? These tights are everything. Okay. Oh, she's got to definitely sniff these. So, these are Pumas, they have the logo on the back, and then the logo wraps around the whole leg, if you can see that. So the head starts up at the left part of the thigh, and then the bottom, where the tail is, is at the back of your leg. Um, I don't know if they're called anything specific, but the regular price, I guess, is $28, and I paid $19.99 for them. So I'm excited to wear these, because they just look really cool. So I got those from Marshalls, and then I have a funny story about them, because I got them from Marshalls, and then I left them in the back of my goddamn trunk for like three weeks and forgot they were back there. That's how you know you got too much. Next! Old Navy. Old Navy is the bond. So wait, can I tell you how Benjamin likes Old Navy now? Because I got him a denim jacket and a bunch of these shirts that he calls cowboy shirts. Don't, don't even ask me why. So now he's like, oh, I like Old Navy. Mm. Mm. So this is also from King of Prussia. I believe. Wait, because I have 50 11 receipts. Oh, yeah. So Benjamin got me this jacket. It's a military, I think, style jacket. I don't know the exact name. I have no idea. But anyway, it's that army green type color. It's a springtime coat, I feel like. It's definitely lightweight. It's got huge pockets. Well, not huge, but big enough, and they button on the sides. And then the sleeves things right here have the little buttons. So you can, like, pull the sleeves up or whatever. This is an extra small, because this is my size. The normal price was $49.99. I think he paid, like, $20-some dollars for it. So, I'm excited to wear this coat, because... I don't really have a lot of coats that are like lightweight like that for the spring. But then I was all hyped about this because I saw these slides, which will be my go-to beach slides for the summer. Because I like to go to the beach a lot, so I'll be in Atlantic City probably at least once a month for the summer. So I got these. These are called Jelly Flip Flop Sandals for Women. And it was buy one, get one, 50% off. So I got black and white. I think they're normally $8.99. And then there's a funny story about these because my size is a 7 and there was a 7 on the plastic hook and I picked it up and I get home and I realize they're an 8 because the tag that's in here, which is this tag, says something different than the plastic one that hung on the thing. So literally I had Benjamin go to two different Old Navies until I was able to find the last pair of 7s which were at Airport Square in Montgomeryville. 
so whatever. So that's what I got from Old Navy. And they have some other colors, like they have pink, they have leopard, they have glitter. The pink and the leopard are kind of cute, but I went with basic black and white because A, they're easy to walk in, and you know how hot that goddamn sand is on the beach. So, I'm like, what is going on? And then, shoes. So, I've been on the hunt for booties. These particular ones, forever. When I went to Franklin Mills, I had tried on a pair. And then I was like, I'm not paying $109. I gotta wait till they go on sale. But they're not gonna drop that much in price. So, I finally got the ones I wanted. From Steve Madden. So I did SteveBadden.com, so I didn't go to the mall for these. So, I have ordered my cow, I don't know what you call these, cow print, cow, I don't know. These are called Elise-C White and Brown. So they're literally like angle booties. As you can see, they got the pointed toe. Do you want to see, boo? And then they have a zipper in the back, and then they have like a three and a half inch heel. They're very comfortable, and I got them in a seven and a half. I got a half a size bigger. Because sometimes with booties, especially with the pointy toe, they can be like constricting on your feet and I don't like that. Um, they smell really good too. And this is like really, it's like fur. So it's like petting it off. Whatever. So, they were on sale because I find deals on everything, as you already know. So these normally retail for $149.95 and I paid $119.96 and they were literally at my house the next day. I think I ordered them on a Friday and they were at my house on Saturday. And then last but not least, we have the jewels from Alex and Annie. So, because I always say it wrong because I usually say Annie and that's not correct. Look at this little girl. She just wants to be all in the camera. Like, look at me, everybody. Look at me. I give kisses and I'm famous. So, I was going to Alex and Ani to get um, some necklaces because I really wanted some three, like, layered necklaces. And then I saw this. So, Alex and Ani has limited edition bracelets, so they have Hello Kitty. So, I literally got the Hello Kitty in rose gold. And it's got the kitty, and then it's got the little Hello Kitty logo. It's the cutest thing ever. So I got this one to add to my rose gold collection. So now I have 12 rose gold bracelets, I believe. Can't really remember. And then this is really cool. Alex and Ani, when you buy multiple bracelets, instead of putting them in a single box like this, they put them in a box like this. So when you take off the top, they actually have multiple boxes, or multiple slots to put the bracelets in. So, I got the Midnight Silver Collection, because this is the only collection I don't have. I have the silver, the rose gold, and the gold. So, I bought the last four from the store in Cherry Hill. I got the Path of Life and the Evil Eye. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I got those in the Midnight Silver Collection. So just in case you didn't know, Alex Nani actually has four different collections in terms of uh, finishes. So they have the Silver, the Gold, the Rose Gold, and the Midnight Silver, which I think is really, really pretty. So I got those two, and then I got these two, which are the... Cosmic Balance, which I don't have that in any of them, and the cross. So I got those. And again, they're in the Midnight Silver. Benjamin was highly upset because he was like, I don't know why you're buying more bracelets. You have enough. Eh. Really? So, again, as you can see, I haven't worn them yet, but I will eventually because they're so cute. The Cosmic Balance one is really, really nice. So, I think all together at Alex and Ani for these five bracelets, I spent like $174 or something like that. So, shout out to Alex and Ani and Cherry Hill. No, I think this was King of Prussia. I'm sorry. I usually get all my bracelets from Cherry Hill, but I went to King of Prussia for that. So, um, that is the end of my haul. That was 
quite a few things. I thought it was going to be shorter, but it's fine. Cookie is now turning her back to all the YouTube people. I'm sorry, but maybe you can look at her little shirt because it's so cute. It says, I get free kisses. Dinky butt. You're so cute. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will be back in my next video with my new nails, which I'm so excited about because these are like driving me nuts because I cracked my thumb. I didn't lose any stones. They're still all intact for being a month old. So I'm going for my um, appointment on Saturday afternoon. So shout out to Chrissy's Nails. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, please. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.